our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all of you thumbs up. Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby, and I am a mom. Courage to change, October 22nd. When I finally found the courage to speak at an Al Anon meeting, my sharing was limited to problems I had already solved. I concealed my real feelings by telling funny stories about myself and the alcoholic because I didn't trust anyone enough to let them see my struggle and my pain. I had a hard enough time facing it by myself, but I didn't seem to be getting better. Only when I was able to stop playing the clown and admit my shortcomings did I begin to enjoy the spiritual growth promised in the 12 steps. The paradox of self-honesty is that I need the help of others to achieve it. I need their support to explore my feelings and motives and to see that others have benefited from taking this great risk. Today's reminder. In an alcoholic environment, I had good reason to hide my feelings, make light of serious situations, overworking, overplaying, managing to focus on everything but myself. Today, I have other options. I can begin to listen to what my heart has been trying to tell me. And I can look for someone trustworthy with whom I can share it. The quote is from In All Our Affairs, quote, it may feel like an enormous risk, but talking honestly about the situation is the key to healing." End quote. I'll read that again. It may feel like an enormous risk, but talking honestly about the situation is the key to healing. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on perfectionism. Today, I will allow my partner to be human. Because my parents were never there for me emotionally, I grew up with an insatiable desire for love and acceptance. My need led me to create an image of a person who could meet all my emotional needs. Unfortunately, my myth of the perfect partner has soured my intimate relationships. Because of it, I have neglected the task of taking responsibility for my own happiness. Today, I will allow my partner to be human. This does not mean I will submit to an abusive relationship. Giving my partner the freedom to be less than perfect is different than giving him or her the freedom to abuse me. Today, I will freely release my partner from the burden of meeting all of my emotional needs. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans. <laughs>